games. Hey, stop messing about. Chuck us a toilet roll. There you go. Right. Well, this week we've got a nice, easy game day. Easy, I like easy. Uh, yeah, best way into it is, yeah. Now, I would ask mum and dad first, because if they go to the toilet and you've nicked the toilet roll... Uh -oh. <laughs> well, what we're going to do, this is called Mummy. Mummy. Well, I'm calling it Mummy. I don't know what the official mummy. name is. Oh, I see. So, what we're going to do, Dave, when I say go, mm -hmm. we're going to undo. Undo. And you can have your feet together or apart, it's up to you. Um, so you could do both legs or an individual leg, whatever you want. And the idea is, you roll round, keep passing it round, and you wrap, 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 wrap. All the way up, mm -hmm. do an arm, because it will get tricky up here with one hand. Mm -hmm. And basically, it's the first person to get down to the cardboard tube. And then, when you've done that, we've got to go hop, hop, hop. First one to the hoop wins. Easy. Easy. Now, you lot probably haven't got a hula hoop at home, so it's just basically first one to get to the cardboard tube. But for a laugh, we thought we'd put the hoops in, so we have to move them with wallies. <laughs> or Dave, anyway. <laughs> ready, ready, Dave? I'm ready when you are, Phil. Ready? Ready as ever be. Three, three, two, one, go! back in my kitchen and this week we're going to do the craft before we do the Bible story and there's a reason for that. As you can see I've got quite a few of these wooden spoons and I've got a couple of spatulas as well and I'm going to decorate these to make characters who are going to help me tell the story. These, you can get these anywhere. I got these from Wilco and they're quite cheap. You can get them from B&M, maybe Home Bargains. And I've got some nice, good quality Sharpie pens, but you can use probably any, any sort of fibre tip pens you've got around. I've got a pencil, I've got a rubber, and I've got a biro as well. So I'm more or less ready to go. And I'm gonna start by giving him a hat, giving him a hat, and use my pencil like this. I can always rub out the pencil if I want to. And I give you give him some some bands of material like this. I'm doing it in pencil first. Which, so I don't make any mistakes. To do that, then we need to give him some eyebrows, like that, like this, and some some eyes, some eyes there. Oops, and a nose, and we give him a give him a mouth, and you could always. You can make him look happy or sad or whatever. This this particular man I'm thinking about, he's going to be like that, I think. And then we'll have some material coming down here. It's more or less where we're going to start. We're giving some finish his eyes off a little bit. So that's the that's the start of it. Obviously, these are characters for my story. But if you were going to do this at home, you could do you could have a you could make your own stories up, and you can use all sorts of things. You can make animals. Or people you go if you want to go on the internet for some inspiration and just put in wooden spoon characters then on there there are quite a few ideas so that's my man to start with and now we can start I'm gonna color him in and I'm gonna mainly use I think probably brown and yellow for this particular character who I've got in mind start with the yellow we're gonna do do his do his hat first so we we'll have some yellow at the top here like that, and we're going to do another one there. And 
Put the one there. You can you don't have to be as you can be as messy or precise as you want really. I think the material is going to come down here as well a bit, so we'll do a yellow bit there and one on this other side, just like that. As I say, you can do anything you want, really. Brown one, here we go, the brown. Brown is going to go across here. This is his hat coming on. And brown here as well. So that's his. He's got a strange hat. This was a long time ago, so perhaps they had hats like this. I've made this up, as you can perhaps tell. And then we do a bit like that. And this is going to be like his part of his his headdress thing coming down like that, and a bit like that. I'm going to use this black one instead. Oh yes, his nice dark eyes there. And there we go, that's his eye. And give him some eyebrows. He's got quite dark eyebrows. It's, looks like he's got makeup on, doesn't it? Um, and there's his nose, and we'll put nose in there, like that. And his mouth, we'll give him a mouth like this. I think we'll put a bit of, perhaps a bit of, a bit of pink for like his lips or something like that, maybe just a little bit of colour, just there. Then I think we will give him a grey beard. So this can be his beard here, like this. You can come down here. Because of the shape of the spoon, it makes it look like a beard. So I think that's pretty good. Um, that will do, I think, more or less. And if we want to, we could give him some clothes as well. And the way we do that, is we can run this down here like this. Down like that. And that matches his, his headdress and we'll put a bit of brown, some on either side. Some down here. Okay, and we put you in just a few sort of like a few of this on his cheek, just to define. There we go. And there's our man. I think he looks quite good. So he's going to appear in our story, and I better get on. So we've got all these to do. Oops, as well. This week we've got another of the parables that Jesus told where he was trying to get a, a point across to explain something in a simple way to the people. And it starts off where Jesus is talking to people and then a man comes along who is a member of the religious authorities. He's an expert in what's called the law, in what people should do and shouldn't do that he thinks will please God. And he asks Jesus a question. He says to Jesus, what should I do to receive eternal life, to, in, to basically live forever? And Jesus says, well, what do you think? And, she, and this man said, well, I think it says in the scriptures that you should love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. And you should love your neighbour as yourself. And Jesus said, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're right. And the man was, was trying to test Jesus. He didn't, he didn't really like that answer. So he said, um, but who is my neighbour? And so Jesus thought, well, I'll explain in a parable. And this is the story. He said, once there was a man, we don't know who this man was, 
But here he is, and I think probably you recognise him from the craft that we did. And this man was going down from the city of Jerusalem to Jericho, which was a bit of a rough place to go, because it was a rough road and there were lots of people, not many people around, and it was quite dangerous. And as he was walking along there, who should come along? But a whole load of robbers. A bit mean. And these robbers, they attacked him. They beat him up and stole his clothes. And they basically left him for dead. And there he was lying by the side of the road. But a little while later, along came a priest, someone who was an important person, a religious person. And he came along and he looked at that man and he thought, mm, I don't want to get involved. You think he would do, wouldn't you, being, being a religious man, being a, an important religious man too. But he thought, no, I'm going to go on my way. So he went on his way and disappeared as quickly as he possibly could. A little while later, someone else came along. And this man was also a re religious man who worked in the temple. He was a temple assistant. Again, quite an important man too. You can tell from his outfit. And he, hmm, he looked at the man, he thought, I don't want to get involved. I don't know who he is. And I'm going to pretend I haven't seen him. So he pretended he hadn't seen him. He looked the other way and he scuttled away and disappeared. And that poor man was left on his own. A little while later, someone else comes along. And this is this man, he comes along. And this was a man from a place called Samaria. He was a Samaritan. That perhaps gives you a clue as to the nature of the story. The, the story is called the parable of the Good Samaritan. And this man, now the Jewish people didn't like Samaritans, that they, they were like their enemies. And so the people who were listening to the story would think, well, this man's not gonna help. He's a Samaritan, he won't help. But you know what? He looked at that man and he had compassion on him, which means that he cared for him and he felt really, really sorry for him. And so he went over to him and he bandaged him up and he put some wine on his wounds and he tried to make him as, as, as comfortable as he possibly could. And so he helped him, which was good. And what he did next, he put him on his donkey. And there's his donkey. As you can see, I cheated a bit on the donkey. But there's his donkey. So he put him on his donkey and they all went off down to the next city to try and get some help. They came along to the city and they called at a place, they called it an inn where they might get some help and here's the innkeeper. And they said to the innkeeper, the man, the man, the Samaritan said to the innkeeper, can you look after this man for me if I give you some money? So he gave him loads of money. He said, you look after him, you make him well. You make sure that he has everything that he possibly needs. And if he needs any more than that, I will give you some more money when I come back. And that's how the story finished. Jesus asked the man who had asked him these questions, he said, which of those three men, the priest or the temple assistant, or that man who helped him, who was a good neighbor to that man? And the man had to admit that it wasn't the priest and it wasn't the temple assistant, it was a Samaritan the Samaritan who, who he wouldn't like because, he, because he, was, he was a Jew. And Jesus was explaining that a neighbour isn't, I mean, when we think of a neighbour, I think of perhaps someone who lives next door to me on either side or perhaps someone who lives across the street. But Jesus was explaining that a neighbour isn't just those people. A neighbour is anyone who is in need, anyone who needs help. And in that story, that Samaritan, he didn't know that person who was lying on the ground at all. He, he, he didn't know his name. He'd never, never met him before. And perhaps once he was better, he would never meet him again. And I, I like it with, with the toilet twinning that we've done. We've been able to buy a toilet for someone on the far side of the world. We don't know who they are and they don't know who we are, but we've been able to help them. And that's a good thing to do. We've been, they're our neighbours in a way, even though they may be thousands of miles away, which they are. So that's the end of the story. So we need to be good neighbours to people. And our neighbours are basically anyone who we come across who has a need. So I hope you enjoyed the story and we'll catch you next week. Bye. <laughs>
was a good start. Okay, it's this week's Bill versus Dave, or Dave versus Phil. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, as you've probably been watching, Dave's got one point, and Phil's got one I've point. I've got one point now. Yeah, you thrashed me last week. Yeah, good. About time I caught up. <laughs> right, Dave, so my challenge to you this week is nut stack. Nut stack? Yes. Now, what we're going to do, we've got eight nuts. What we're going to do, we're going to put a kebab stick in our mouth. Don't try this at home because they're very sharp and you could choke. Put it in your mouth. Okay, I'm going to have back. And what you're going to do, you've got to get one of the nuts. I'll just demonstrate. And, oh. Oh, it on top like that. What? And you've got to stack, can't talk with that in your mouth. <laughs> and you've got to stack all eight on top. And it's the first one to get all eight stacked all up. Is it they fall down? You've got to start again. Is it is it possible? Is it even possible? I don't know. How many hours have you been practicing this? Uh, <laughs> none whatsoever. Really? Okay. One minute maybe. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Just to check it was doable. Okay. These, because they're quite long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we ready, Dave? This is a challenge. You're right there. Okay? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Next time, Dave. Next time, Phil. Every chance. See you. See you.